So ever since Mid Journey 5.2 dropped, everyone's been trying to figure out how do you get this infinite zoom effect. Now there are some videos on it, but they're like 25 minutes long, and I think they have way too many steps and some of them are needless. So I'm going to show you very, very quickly how to achieve this effect. All you're going to need is Mid Journey and then a video editing software. I use Adobe Premiere and I also used Adobe Photoshop to go ahead and expand the images to upscale them from what Mid Journey journey gives. So let's dive right into it and let me show you how this is accomplished. So step number one is you're just going to give a prompt of an image that you want to start with. So for instance, beautiful goddess laying on the beach, aspect ratio 16 by 9. I chose this third option here, so I upscaled it. It's important to upscale. Now, one thing I want to point out is don't go ahead and right click and download this. You have to select it, open it in browser, and then save image as. That's going to give you the largest file of that image, which is only like 1450 by 800 or something close to that. So once you have this, you're going to select custom zoom here. You're going to be able to specify something else. Now, if you wanted to just expand based on the image that's already there, you can leave this and click submit. And if you don't want it to be choppy from transition to transition, this might be the best way because as you'll see, I put in completely different prompts here to make the storyline interesting. And because the storyline is more interesting, sometimes the edges get affected. There really is no way around it. So like for instance, here I said picture on the moon and all of a sudden it went and zoomed out and made her laying down on the moon. However, the edges of the original photo might be a little bit different. Then I said alien invasion and then I selected the best one I liked. I upscaled it and then I custom zoomed again. Now, one thing to point out about custom zoom, you always want it to be zoomed too. That means that it's zooming out by a factor of two. And I went ahead and repeated this for like a dozen images. And then once I went ahead and saved all the images, I then opened them up in Photoshop. Now the problem was that originally this image was quite small. And so if we go ahead and zoom in, it may have gotten pixelated rather quickly. We don't want that. And a normal computer screen is 1920 by 1080. And so we have to keep that in mind because when you go to image and image size, I went and I doubled it. So 3840, just to prove it to you guys here, uh, 1920 times two, is 3840 and that's what I did 3840 by 2160 so this is perfect and this is now upscaled two times the size of the screen why because for most of these images what's going to happen is you'll be zooming in in the actual video and you don't want it to lose quality so once I went ahead and accomplished that I then just put in individually all of the photos into Adobe Premiere or whichever platform you're going to use for editing. So the next step is I went to Adobe Premiere and you can use whatever editing software you like to use. And I put in all of these various images one by one. And I also made sure that they're set to the same duration. So if you're curious how to do that in mid journey, you go to speed duration and you could select the duration. So here I could just select 1.5 seconds or I can even toggle it by just going left and right and it will adjust as well. So once I had them pretty much all the same, starting with the most zoomed out image and ending with the most zoomed in image, I then had to go ahead and make sure that it actually zooms in. How did I accomplish that? Well, when you go to any clip and you click on the first frame, what's going to happen is you can select how far it's zoomed in. So I would have it set at 100. I would select this clock image here to create a keyframe, which is 1x zoom in. So it's basically not zoomed in at all. And then I would go to the absolute last frame and I would select 200 which means it's two times zoomed in and then I would click this to have this a keyframe and what would happen is that during the 1.5 seconds it goes from 1x to 2x zoom and 2x zoom is basically where the next picture starts and that's what makes it a very seamless transition and by the way if you want to adapt what you did on the first one to the rest of them you could simply click copy and this works the same way for a lot of the other platforms where you can do video editing on you right click and you click 
paste attributes and that is going to paste all of your attributes what are attributes well it's these keyframes right here where it goes from 1x to 2x now it adapted it to this this slide to all of them so i went ahead and one by one i pasted the attributes once i exported it and this is the exported version that you're seeing here what i did is i right clicked and when i go to speed duration i can actually reverse the speed and if I reverse the speed, now we're starting from the opposite. We're starting from being very zoomed in to then zooming out completely. And it gives an entirely different effect than from when you're zoomed out to going to zoomed in. So I hope this was an easy to understand explanation. If you know of a way to avoid a lot of this choppiness, aside from not having a lot of difference in the prompts that you give mid journey when going from one image to the next please let me know in the comment section one of the ways i was thinking of doing it is just zooming in a little bit more so making all these images slightly larger and zooming in more so not starting from 1x but maybe starting from 1.1x to 2.1x but honestly for the purpose of this video i think i did a pretty good job so let me know if this helped you let me know if you have a better way of doing it let me know if there's better software than midjourney photoshop and adobe premiere to achieve this effect and if you like this video do me a favor like comment subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video